So I was asked a question recently by somebody, how about C++? Do you think C++ is still viable in the AI age? Short answer is yes, but you have to understand how C++ development is going to be impacted by AI. So right now, as I'm recording this in late July 2025, a lot of entry-level jobs are not being filled because of the efficiencies that AI is bringing to the table. But I think personally, this is a temporary thing. Once the market resettles itself, then they're going to start hiring a very specific type of C++ developer. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by me and my mentoring program at UncleSteph.com. This is an interactive training program where you will learn the web stack, including HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, Python, PHP, SQL, how to freelance. Comes with five certification. It's interactive. It's my own platform that I developed working hand in hand with many schools over the years. There's no easier way to learn how to code and get a deep knowledge. So what I've done in the program, I've transferred my decades of experience and poured it into this course. So you have amazing retention and you got amazing comprehension. Those are ter two educational terms that they use to evaluate any curriculum. So what does that mean? That means you remember and you understand. That's the key to this. The key to being a successful developer in the AI age is to have a good understanding of the fundamentals. So you're gonna not only learn the languages, but you can understand how to write code effectively in this environment. So you're gonna understand the web stack, clients versus server, the request response model, the stateless nature of the interwebs, and so many other things. This knowledge is 100% important in the AI age. We also include in the private club that you'll have access to joining the mentoring program, access to our 100 hours of discussions with other developers, up and coming developers, about everything from basic coding to building projects for clients and leveraging AI in their own work. So that's all included into the package. Check out unclesteph.com, link below. Best deal I've ever offered, uh, well, ever. So if you're gonna get into any type of programming, not just C++, you have to embrace AI. You have to start understanding the AI landscape. You have to look at AI, and the different AIs out there, whether it be GPT, Gemini, Grok, Anthropic, Claude. You have to look at them like tools that you use, just like you might use one IDE versus another, one payment processor versus another, uh, one programming language versus another. Some days better use JavaScript, some days better use Java. It's never a good idea to use Ruby. You have to look at all these programming, excuse me, you have to look at all these AI models as tools that you leverage. You can leverage them to speed up traditional development. You could also use them to uh, develop a new type of AI app. So what you have to do when you're looking at C++, you have to first look at the opportunities in the market. I tell this to everybody, whether it's C++ or JavaScript or C Sharp or Java, what have you, you have to first look at the market. Look where the demand is. C++ is a great language. Some people hate it. Some people love it. It has its purpose. But you have to look how it's being used these days, how AI impacts it. That's a key thing. So, for example, ActionScript, which is the object-oriented programming language for Flash, a lot of people like that language. But you know what? There's no more jobs in it. So if you learned it, not a good idea. Same thing with Delphi. A lot of people love Delphi. Are there any Delphi jobs? Man, there might be one or two. But, you know, before I would jump into learning Delphi, I would study the market first, see if there's actual demand for Delphi. Same thing with C++. If you're interested in C++, first of all, you can't go wrong learning any language because that, that skill set whether you learn C++ or Java or JavaScript, PHP, whatnot, even if you don't get a job writing C++, the skills that you learn learning C++ will be a 100% transferable into other areas, guaranteed. Again, that being said, look at the market. Before I would invest weeks or months into learning C++, or any other language, I would look at the market, see where the demand is, and see how AI impacts it. I have no doubt that there's gonna be a lot of C++ code being written, but it might be done through AI uh, uh, support. 
So you might have a lot of C++ developers leveraging AI to write a lot of the boilerplate code in C++, but you're going to still need to know what you are doing. So a guy I know is a professional developer. He used to be, well, he graduated from my mentoring program, links below. He, uh, I was talking to him recently. He told me he was talking to his boss and his boss said, we need an app to do X, Y, and Z at work. So he, uh, he's a lead dev now. So he went home and he sat back with Claude and he started vibe coding and he was able to develop the framework of this app, uh, an MVP, a minimum viable product, if you will, uh, over a few hours writing the app. It would have taken him much longer without, uh, without AI. So the thing is, in talking to him, and I've talked to a, lot, a few other people who vibed, who vibed coded, they said, you have to know what you're doing. Like, you're not going to vibe code if you don't understand what you're doing. You, it, it, it's just not going to work out. So that's number one. Number two, the problem with pure AI-generated code from top to bottom, you may be able to pull out something, pull off something. The thing is, it's, it's, you're kind of caught in that framework where if you wanted to update it, it could be very problematic. So you got to leverage AI, whether you're doing in C++ or Java, but what I would suggest you do is you, you try to... You, 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 limit it to, you limit it to component-based development. So if you are using AI to, to help write code, don't have it write the whole stack. Have it write this component here, then have it write this component here, and have it write this component here. This way you're not so dependent on the AI. You can, you can, you can uh, work with that infrastructure, that architecture, uh, much more effectively. Again, though, you got to know what you're doing. I had the same conversation with my brother, who's an iOS developer. He was put on a Java, uh, not a Java, an Android job. I don't know if it was written in Java or Android uh, or Kotlin, but anyway, it was an Android job. But he's an experienced developer, so he had Claude go in there, start rewriting things. But he had to, uh, he had to help it a lot. And he said he was telling me he was no, he didn't have to tell me, but he told me what was going on. I can tell you, if he didn't know how to be had to develop. He wasn't developed. He wouldn't have been able to get it done with Claude very well. So there you go. Back to C++. Yes, uh, it's a viable language in 2025, but before I would get into it, I would study the market, see who's hiring C++ developers, what kind of work they're doing, uh, see how AI is impacting C++ development. It will be different from different companies. And you're hearing about a lot of uh, people not being hired now and so on. Part of this is AI, but a big part of it is the slowing economy. Another big part of it is that they overhired during the COVID days. And they're just sort of correcting themselves at this point in time. So I wouldn't be too concerned about it long term. That said, here's the hack. The hack, which you should be doing if you want to be a successful developer, especially as entry level, you want to be the C++ developer who works with AI. You want to understand how AI can help you with your C++ development. You want to be the pro at that. So you just you just don't want to be the AI developer, you, excuse me, the C++ developer. You want to be the C++ developer who knows AI. Just like for many years now, to get a JavaScript job, if you knew JavaScript plus React, that got you a job as opposed to just knowing JavaScript. Same thing now. If you want to learn C++, learn it, but understand how AI impacts C++ development and understand the landscape so that you can study the very specific specialization of C++ that will maximize your chance of getting work, whether you want to freelance, although C++ is not the best language for freelancing, let's face it, or get a job is the most likely opportunity there. But again, uh, if for some reason, if you're scared about not getting a job and you say, I don't want to waste my time learning something that won't get me a job, it's not wasting your time. If you learn C++, which is the foundation, uh, C and C++ are the foundational languages for so many other languages like JavaScript, like TypeScript, like C Sharp, like Java and others, uh, you know, it doesn't go to waste. You're not wasting your time learning C++.